So, what are the percentage of getting blood pressure to the normal range with the help of watermelon? Okay, so you want to understand how watermelon is going to help you to normalize your increased blood pressure in percentage, right? Basically, this watermelon has an amino acid called citrulline. Now, this is citrulline is what? Citrulline malate is an amino acid. Amino acid. This is used as precursor. Precursor for nitric oxide. Right? Now, basically, nitric oxide, when it is formed, it has very important uh, function keeping your artery healthy. Let me explain it here. Suppose this is your kidney and this is your artery here. Right? Now, we have these are what? Endothelial cells. And these endothelial cells cells makes NO nitric oxide. Right? Why this nitric oxide is made here? It is made to clear unwanted accumulated substances in between two endothelial cells. Right? So once they are clear, your artery will remain healthy. Right? Further, this citrulline is converted into this citrulline is converted into L-arginine. Now. This is again an amino acid, right? This is known as vasodilator. Vasodilator, right? Having a platter of watermelon daily in breakfast, for those who are in pre hypertension, they will reduce their blood pressure by systolic and diastolic by. 6% systolic and diastolic by 14%. So regular use of watermelon in breakfast will help them to reduce or normalize the systolic and diastolic blood pressure, right? Further, let's understand some more benefits. And now, watermelon contains beta-carotene. Beta-carotene, right? This is what beta carotene is precursor. Precursor for formation. Formation of vitamin A. I hope you understand the word precursor. I have mentioned here and here. So, what is precursor? Uh, initial signal sequence while formation of any protein chain, right? In uh, diabetic physiology, I have covered, suppose this is your uh, nucleus and this is your short arm here, right? And this is your long arm. When the DNA expresses messenger RNA, right? DNA expresses messenger RNA, we form a initial signal sequence. That is a precursor formation, right? We need amino acid group here. What we require to form protein amino acid, and this is what one of them. So that is the reason this is called precursor, right? Now let's understand one powerful antioxidant present in watermelon. Antioxidant, lycopene. Now this lycopene has. Uh, medicinal properties, right? This is going to prevent cell damage and promote cell growth. This also used as a medicine uh, for preventing Prostate cancer and breast cancer. 
right? So very strong antioxidant you will get that is called lycopene. It has lutein, which is uh, an I vitamin, right? Now, as you know, this is showing a word called water. It will keep you hydrated. Now, when it comes as a fruit, right? It has fructose. Now, fructose is very good or healthy for the health of the testes. Men have the testes, right? So, testes health is improved with the fructose. Now, even this citrulline will help to improve erectile dysfunction, right? So these are the uh, benefits I have simplified. I hope I have explained the uh, question, which is percentage in percentage, right? Anything else? Sir, is there any benefits of watermelon seeds? Okay, seeds. You wanted to understand the seeds. Okay, the seeds uh, have a essential and non-essential amino acid profile, as well as it has very good fat. Right? Thank you very much.